Yep, you guessed it. Morgan SLV here uh, with my colorful, colorful shirt on that keeps getting uh, comments about it. This shirt, I think I've said it before, is like a vintage drag racing shirt. You guys all know that I'm into hot rods and stuff. And uh, it's got a few colors on it. Anyway, hey, today it's so nice out. It's probably 68 degrees right now. I'm sitting in my driveway. Uh, behind me is a, <coughs> a go-kart that my son finished for his business. And just enjoying the day. Let's get on with it. Gold, 1356. Uh, silver, 2892. It's up a little bit. Uh, that today's date is 2-3-2011. Um, I'm just going to kind of go over some stuff. I One of, the, one of my favorite... Um, authors, one of my favorite people to kind of get some good solid where the rubber meets the road information is Jim Rogers. Jim Rogers, I suggest you guys, if you guys can uh, look him up on YouTube, just do it. He's He doesn't uh, talk uh, in language that you don't understand. He doesn't, he does, he doesn't quite talk quite as fast as as Peter Schiff although I join him I join both uh, immensely uh, he's just he's just somebody that really makes a lot of sense but let's get into this for a second he's saying right now that there's 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 turmoil in all the currencies on the planet right now now when there's when there's turmoil with the, with a the currency the people who are in the know the people who study are gonna look for something else what might they look for well in my case I looked for silver I found it it made sense to me um, when when currencies are uh, fluctuating wi wildly and are uh, mis misused as ours is, uh, you know, our world reserve currency is just a freaking giant bird's nest, right? It's just a mess. You know, I'm going to look for something solid. And um, like I say, one of the reasons I do these videos is I'm more than talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to myself when I rewatch these videos and I... And I get my convictions, and uh, you know you got you got to stand for something, or you're going to fall for anything, right? So when you have once again, when you have currencies that are in turmoil, it's bullish for gold and silver. It's bullish for commodities. Food prices to expo explode worldwide. You know, as much as I hate to say it, you know, um, there's going to be a lot of us that are going to have to take take what silver we bought and live off of it, right? And get your food and and your energy and, and uh, obviously you know commodities are freaking going through the roof one thing I see dropping those things that we're not buying like homes right but um, so you know as these explode worldwide you know uh, all I can see is it, you know when you talk fundamentals all these all these different things all these un instabilities uh, instabilities that you see all over the planet right now it makes people kind of hold on to stuff and stuff that they want to hold on to is definitely gold and silver at least in my case and in many of yours um, as far as farming goes you know Jim uh, Jim Rogers uh, says this you want to get into another business start farming and uh, but the thing of it is this you know they're saying well you know actually farmers are now taking note of that and um, you know they're starting they're starting to up the production he goes well look we're always gonna have weather issues uh, the average farmer right now in Japan is 56 years old in 10 years they'll be 66 and he said you know we're, we it's not like you just fire up a farm and you know this time next year you're cashing in your money he's saying like coffee uh, you know it takes it takes uh, seven years I think he says for that to mature it takes years for that to mature so it's not like you just plant them today and all everything's cool right and so you know we're gonna have a giant dip in in uh, our production of food which uh, you know you're gonna need you're gonna need some kind of a, of a uh, money system that is gonna hold value so that you can afford it right I like this what he said about this you can have a situation where demand for a commodity is shrinking but the supply is going down faster than the demand which equals a bull market for that particular commodity I, man think about that for a second that is that is such a powerful statement to be able to to um, you know cut away all the, all the nonsense and get down to brass tacks it can actually you know you can have a demand shrinking but um, the the supply is going down faster than the demand which ends up being a bull market and those are just some of the things that he just some of the wisdoms that he shares you know and it's it's really cool I really like I really like learning and that to me was a was a, you know like a little a little silver bit of silver nugget for me today commodities have outperformed uh, the stock market by a factor of 10 over the last 10 years so he's saying he goes look man bottom line is yeah he buys some stocks he's short some stocks right now but he was saying that you know commodities um, you know are outperforming him bar none uh, to a factor of 10 over the last 10 years a thousand percent return over 10 years he said why would I 
you know, why would I uh, switch horses in the middle of the race, right? And so those are just some of the things that he said today. This was actually today, too. It was uh, recorded today. And, um, I, you know, that's just one of those things where maybe you've just bumped into my channel. And um, so I'm going to add him to my list. Jim Rogers. you got Jim Rogers. You've got Da Vinci J15. You've got Silver Futurist. You've got Peter Schiff, Mike Maloney. You know, you've got Robert Kiyosaki, you know, and, and Jim Rogers and all those guys. I don't know if I repeated that or not, but uh, these guys will give you a different perspective. You know, uh, uh, Jim Rogers now uh, resides in China, I believe, or at least he has his family's there. And, uh, you know, he's saying, why do I want to raise my, my, my daughters? I think he has two daughters uh, in, a, in a declining economy when I can go to an emerging, emerging uh, economy. You know, he has that type of money where he can pick up and leave. And uh, anyway, business-wise, uh, doing great. Um, uh, my son's uh, uh, business is Small Engine Advice for Dummies. It's pretty cool. Uh, so we're just kind of going along with that, and uh, we're still continuing to build it. This year, we plan to double his production from last year. I'm actually going to roll my sleeves up and get in there and get busy with him, and because uh, we have a few things that we want to pay off, uh, we want to do a Disneyland trip, and uh, you know, I think the family, I think your family would appreciate it. if you got online. And you were able to, to pay off some bills, you know, and take the family out and see Mickey Mouse. Why not, man? I mean, I would do it right now. If you're going to do it, I would do it right now. Who knows what this planet's going to look like in a year or two or three, right? All right, joke of the day. Let's see if I can remember this. Two generals are out on the battlefield, and they're in the heat of battle. Sure enough, as the front line, as the front of the line, you know, on both sides meet, they fight it out. One of the generals dies. Next thing he knows, he's standing at the gates of heaven, and he's looking around, and all of a sudden, St. Peter walks up, and... He's looking, he goes, you know, I've been a bad man, and he goes, but I'd really appreciate it if I could, if I could get into heaven. You know, I died in wartime, and, you know, all fair, all's fair in love and war, and I was just hoping that I could get in. Is there anything I could do? And St. Peter said, absolutely. He said, well, what do I need to do? And he goes, well, you just need to spell a word. And he goes, all right, well, what's the word? And he said, love. All right, L-O-V-E. He said, all right, come on in. You're in, man. You're in heaven. Good job. And uh, a few weeks go by, and you know St. Peter and him get along real great. And he goes, "Hey, St. Peter walks up to him, says the general, hey, you know what? I got some errands to run. I'm going to have you watch the gate. I'll be back soon.'" So a couple hours go by, and he's watching the gate. And sure enough, that other general comes up that he had been in battle with, and uh, he says, uh, "You know, he was no surprise." He says, "Hey, you know, I know that I know that you remember me. I'm the, I'm the person that killed you, uh, you know, in battle." And um, I was just hoping that there was a way that I could get in, you know, and he goes, hey, first of all, I, you know, I completely forgive you, you know, we were in war, and uh, there's no problem, you can get right in, he goes, well, what do I need to do, and he goes, well, all you need to do is spell a word, and the general on the outside of the gate goes, all right, well, what word do I need to spell, and he said, Czechoslovakia, Morgan, SLV, out. <laughs>